This is Zeus, the Greek god of thunder. Besides being the king of the gods, he was perhaps best known for handling lightning and manipulating it to his will. Could we, the technologically savvy race of humans, follow in those same footsteps? Can we harness this awesome force of nature to power our homes and industries? Although exactly why and how lightning occurs is a little contentious, it is generally agreed that lightning happens between the downdrafts and updrafts of thunderstorms. Lighter particles move upwards to the top of the cloud and become positively charged, while bulkier ones descend towards the bottom of the cloud and become negatively charged. When this differential buildup of charge grows large enough, lightning is released between these regions. In reality, most of the lightning takes place within the cloud, but some bolts do find their way out and descend to the ground, which can cause fires, injuries, and general mayhem. Lightning is not only bright, but also very hot. The temperature of lightning is a whopping 27,000 degrees Celsius. To put that in perspective, that temperature is nearly five times hotter than the surface of the sun. When lightning strikes, it often burns the surrounding air due to its extreme temperatures. Lightning can also carry over a billion joules of energy. As electrical power is equal to energy per unit time, the power that it exudes is also humongous. A high amount of energy is deposited in just a fraction of a second. Although the energy of a lightning strike varies, assuming it carries 1 billion joules of energy, that would mean it delivers around 300 kilowatt hours of power. According to the United States Energy Information and Administration, the EIA, the average annual power consumption of a typical U.S. household is 11,000 kilowatt hours. Of power. This translates into roughly 30 kilowatt hours of consumption on a daily basis. Thus, a powerful lightning bolt could power around 10 homes in the U.S. for a whole day. Despite being a carrier of such enormous amounts of energy, extracting energy from a thunderbolt is not particularly easy. There are quite a few constraints associated with harnessing juice from a streaking lightning bolt. For simplicity's sake, we earlier assumed that a lightning bolt carries over a billion joules of energy, but not all flashes of lightning are created equal. In some lightning strikes, the power can be hazardously higher than the forecast, while in others, it may be ludicrously low. Then, there is also the fact that lightning strikes are totally sporadic. Some areas receive a much higher concentration of lightning strikes, while others are nearly immune to such weather patterns. Furthermore, you can never have advanced knowledge of where they will strike, or with what intensity. This makes it very challenging to capture and conserve those instantaneous bolts of energy. Despite millions of lightning strikes occurring every year, the geographical distribution of these strikes is very skewed. Most lightning strikes occur in the tropics and in remote mountainous regions. Designing and setting up state-of-the-art energy storage and conversion systems in such locations is even more challenging from an economic standpoint. Finally, let's talk about the technological constraint. Absorbing the incident lightning strikes and then converting them into electrical energy to easily power our homes and industries would be an arduous engineering task. This is because lightning deposits a whole lot of energy all at once. Most of our electronic devices and components such as capacitors, transistors, batteries, ICs, and flywheels aren't designed to withstand such abrupt surges in power. Thus, we would need to completely revamp our electrical machinery and infrastructure, replacing it with complex power systems that can withstand powerful lightning strikes and efficiently extract usable juice from it. For example, to attract and capture lightning, tall metallic iron rods extending high above the ground would be required. This would be risky and definitely represents a safety hazard. Remember, lightning kills thousands of people every year. We cannot risk more lives to extract power from lightning unless we are fully convinced about its safety. Additionally, we would need to design rapid charge batteries that could charge themselves in tandem with the lightning strike. All of these challenges associated with developing lightning harvesting systems have restricted us from harnessing a meaningful amount of energy from lightning. Despite these hurdles, People have tried in the past and are still testing out mechanisms to harvest energy from lightning. In the mid-2000s, a researcher called Steve Leroy supposedly powered a bulb for a few minutes with artificially generated lightning. A company called Alternate Energy Holdings bought the design from Leroy and embarked on a journey to create lightning farms. They had plans to harvest energy from lightning through these lightning farms in Houston, where lightning strikes are quite frequent. However, this venture never got off the ground 
and the company left the Lightning Farm business after their unsuccessful efforts. In late 2000, a group of French scientists tried to control lightning with lasers. They attempted to incite electrical activity and attract lightning using lasers in the New Mexican desert, which is known for a high incidence of lightning. However, when they fired the lasers, there was a noticeable increase in electrical activity in the clouds, but unfortunately, lightning didn't happen where they expected. Ryan Davis, a former Marine and an independent researcher, has recently embarked on a mission called Project First Light. He is working on a revolutionary network with rapid charging batteries that could harness a lightning bolt's power. He claims that rare materials from asteroids are being used in the construction of his lightning energy harvesting project. How much this project achieves remains to be seen. Without an iota of doubt, we can say that lightning is a tremendous source of energy. Unfortunately, when it comes to the practicality of harvesting energy from lightning, things get a bit more tricky. Our quest for an advanced, safe, and efficient power system that can deal with the volatility of lightning strikes and convert them into a nice, usable form of energy is ongoing. Only time will tell if we can really step into the shoes of Zeus and extract usable volts from a lightning bolt. If you like this video, then please leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel for more animated stories on the science in our lives. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us.